Today we're going to be starting a brand new science unit on biomes. For today's unit, for today's lesson, you will need a copy of the biome notes printed out, ready to follow along. And then at the end of this, you'll need a copy of the biomes of the world map. And you'll also need some coloring supplies. Colored pencils will definitely work best for this. So in your notes, let's go ahead and get a working definition of the word biome. So your first blank there is biome, B-I-O-M-E. And if you look at that, you'll see that root bio, that means life. And a biome is simply a major life zone. It includes all of the plants and animals that are in a very large environment with the same climate and soil. Um, so it's actually bigger than an ecosystem. This is a huge chunk of land and they can be across different continents that all have similar climates. That means that the temperature and precipitation is similar and the soil is the same, is the same as well. Here's a couple examples of some different biomes. For example, this biome over here, the temperate deciduous forest, this is what we have here in Virginia. Um, but the biome is a large group area um, within that, we can have different ecosystems, like you could have a wetland, or you could have a pond area, or you could have an alpine um, forest, which is up on a mountain. So those individual ecosystems together make up a biome. This map shows all of the different biomes going across the whole world, and you can see there's several different types here, tropical rainforest and temperate rainforest. Um, we have de deserts, tundras, a tagai or boreal forest, grasslands, savannas, tropical grasslands, freshwater, marine, and ice. And we will take a closer look at each of these types of biomes. As we do this unit, I want you to be aware that different science curriculum classifies the biomes differently. So sometimes you'll see savannas and grasslands, for example, combined. Some of them will separate out different types of forests that have pine versus pine trees versus um, trees that lose their leaves. Um, so depending on what source you're looking at, they might use a different level of or different labels for the biomes. We're going to look at seven major biomes through this unit. Underneath there is some vocabulary that you're going to need to know throughout this unit. I'm going to refer to these pretty frequently, so I'm just going to take a moment to introduce each of these words to you. Um, your first word is the word flora, F-L-O-R-A, and flora simply refers to the plant life that you have in a specific biome. Easy to remember because it looks like it has the word flora in it. The other type of life that we'll find in a biome is called fauna, F-A-U-N-A. Fauna, and fauna refers to all the animals that we find within a biome. Next, let's talk about um, the amount of moisture that we have in the air. Some biomes are humid, H-U-M-I-D, and that means that they're moist. The air is full of water vapor. In this example, you can literally see the drops of water vapor in the air. The opposite of that would be arid, A-R-I-D, arid, A-R-I-D, and that is an area that is very dry. It has little or no water. Next, let's take a look at soil types. Fertile soil is the kind that plants grow well in. Fertile is F-E-R. T-I-L-E, and the word fertile literally means able to reproduce. Um, so it is dark colored soil that's full of nutrients that support plant life. It has lots of decaying plants and animal matter from decomposers that provide those nutrients to allow plants to grow. The opposite of fertile soil would be infertile or barren, B-A-R-R-E-N, and that word barren literally means unable to reproduce. Um, so this soil is going to be pale in color um, because it doesn't have those dark, rich nutrients that support plant life. Now let's look at different types of climates. Here in Virginia, we have what's called a temperate climate, T-E-M-P-E-R-A-T-E. -E. And a temperate climate is a climate with four distinct seasons. So there is a spring, summer, fall and winter that are clearly different from one another. And so we do have um, very cold temperatures all the way up through very warm temperatures. And it's easy to tell the difference between each of those seasons. Another type of climate we'll run into is called a tropical climate. Tropical, T-R-O-P-I-C-A-L, um, are the types of climates we find around the equator. In this type of climate, rather than having a distinctive spring, summer, winter, and fall, 
Instead, it really only has two seasons. The temperature is warm throughout the year, and so the only difference in those seasons is that there's a particularly wet summer where there's lots and lots of rain falling all at once, and then they have dry winters where there is very little rain falling. I mean, you can see in this area here that that's the difference between the dry season and the wet season. Now let's look at different types of vegetation or trees that we have in an area. Deciduous trees are trees with broad leaves. Those are the ones that have the ones you can pick off and they're broad, meaning they're flat and open. And those trees lose their leaves in the fall and are dormant during the winter. The other type of tree we have is coniferous. And this one's easy to remember because it looks like it's got the word cone in it, and that's exactly what they are. Coniferous trees are trees that reproduce with cones. Coniferous is C-O-N-I-F-E-R-O-U-S. And going along with those cones, they usually have needles, and they usually stay green year-round. So that instead of having broad leaves that are wide and flat, they have these skinny leaves, which are the needles that stay on the tree year-round. And finally, we're going to look at the biodiversity of these different biomes. Biodiversity, B-I-O-D-I-V-E-R-S-I-T-Y, is a measure of how many different kinds of life are in a particular environment. So, for example, this is all of the different types of life that are found in a rainforest. And you can see there's lots and lots of different kinds of creatures. It's not how many animals you have but it's how many different kinds you have that defines biodiversity. Go ahead and finish off this unit by taking the worksheet, some colored pencils, and go ahead and color then shade in that map. So this will help you to start being familiar with the different types of biomes we'll study. So for example, everywhere that you see a number one on the map, you're gonna color it blue because that is the tundra biome. So you can see all those little ones are gonna be colored blue all across the top of the map. So go ahead and go through each section of each of the continents and go ahead and shade them in according to the colors that you see at the bottom. And send me a picture of this when you are finished with it.